Peace to nowhere land. To nowhere land. Come along if you can. Hey ho, come on, let's go to nowhere land. With Maggie and the ferocious beast. Great googly moogly. Catch me if you can. <laughs> Maggie, I think it's my turn. Oh, please, just a little longer. I wish I could get a ride. I'm sorry, Beast. <laughs> but look how high she flies. <laughs> You're too big. I know, I know. Dear Beast, I'm sorry. What can we do to cheer you up? Really? You want to cheer me up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you sure? Well, yes, I think so. Just, what did you have in mind? No, never mind. It's too much to ask. Don't be silly, Beast. Tell us what it is. Well... You know how I love pumpkin muffins. Beast, just get to the point. Well... I also love your gingerbread men cookies. Oh, I love those gingerbread men cookies, too. We'll help you bake them. Well then, let's get started. Maggie, help me set up the table. I'll help, too. I'm very good at licking the bowl. Okay, Maggie, now. <gasps> Oops. <laughs> right, I'll get the rolling pin and the baking tray. They look almost too cute to eat. Hand me the raisins for their eyes. Don't forget their buttons. I love lots of raisins. Look, Hamilton, the bowl is completely clean. I did a really good job. Now, you can wash it in that pan of hot soapy water. Yes, Hamilton, I know. <laughs> they smell so good. Oh, Hamilton, they're perfect. Mm -hmm. And look at their little icing smiles and vests. Careful, don't touch. They're still hot. While they're cooling, why don't we take a break? Good idea. <laughs> oh, can I push now? Okay, but not too hard. Okay, and not too high. Okay. Make sure I don't fall off. I will. I will. Maggie, are the cookies ready yet? I don't know. Psst. <gasps> Come on, Al. Go! Oh, how can that be? <gasps> Let's get them! <laughs> <laughs> na, 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 na. <laughs> Boo -hoo -hoo. Did you hurt yourself? Come back here. We're not going to give up just so you and your friends can have a feast. <laughs> we promise. Come out and play with us, please. Ouch! Ouch! That isn't very nice. Too bad. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I wonder where they are. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You really don't think that will do any good? I just want to play with them. They're so cute. We're not going to find them standing here. Let's spread out. I'll go this way. Hamilton, you go that way. And Beast goes that way. 
Don't make any noise. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Shh. Boy, that polka dotted guy's a big one. Hello, hello, gingerbread man. It's me, Maggie. Please come out and play with us. I promise we won't eat you. Just step out where we can see you. Don't believe them. It's a trap. They'll find us if we stay here. Let's hide in that tall grass. Good idea. Let's go. There's no sign of them. Gee, we just want to be friends. You don't think they'd believe that. <laughs> Hamilton's right, Beast. Did you ever meet a gingerbread man you didn't want to dunk in a nice cold glass of milk? I guess not. Oh, <gasps> Hamilton, since we can't catch these, why don't you bake some more? Don't be ridiculous. I don't know what ingredient I added, but whatever it was, I'm sure I couldn't do it again. Maybe we added more ginger. Whenever I jump around a lot, my mother says, Maggie, you're full of ginger today. <laughs> But I just want another batch to eat, not to chase around. I'm not baking any more gingerbread men. Now let's see if we can find them. I'm tired. <laughs> Me too. What's wrong? I lost my buttons. I lost mine too. We have to surrender. We're defeated. Might as well give up. Let's go. I'll lead with the white flag of surrender. Look! Oh, dear. The poor things look so weary. We give up. You win. We can't go on. Look! I lost my buttons. So did he. Oh, you poor dears. Don't be afraid. Hamilton and I will give you back your buttons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. And then what? And then I'm going to find you a place in Nowhere Land where you can live happily ever after. And when I have time, I'll bake you a gingerbread house to live in. And wait until you see the beautiful gingerbread houses Hamilton bakes. Wow, you don't say. And I promise I won't eat you. <laughs> Pumpkins and hats. Hamilton's ball of string must be getting awfully big. It certainly is. When are you going to let us see it? I wanted to talk to you about that. Great googly moogly, Hamilton. Talking about a ball of string doesn't sound very interesting. If you'll allow me to explain, please. Excuse me. Thank you. I thought perhaps we could hold a contest. We'll invite our friends to display their collectibles, and then we'll all vote to see who wins. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's get started right away. I'll tell everybody. I better hurry. Attention, everyone. Step forward one at a time. State your name. Place your entry for the contest on the table and tell us a little about it. After refreshments, we'll all vote and pick the winner. Yes, Rudy? What's the prize? Excuse me? What does the winner get? Good heavens, I, I never thought of that. Maybe you can bake the winner a cake. Good idea, Maggie. The winner will get a ticket that can be turned in at any time for a cake. That sounds marvelous. I love dessert. 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 Hi, Beast. Mm. Sorry I'm late. Hi, Maggie. Will the first contestant step up and state your name? I'll go first. Just wait and see. The winner today is undoubtedly me. This is my co- <clears throat> You didn't state your name. Craig Googly Moogly Hamilton. You know his name. Name? Uh, Nedley. Thank you. This is my collection of magician hats. They're striped, they're sparkly, 
and my favorite one's black. Ooh. Now that is bound to win. That's a great collectible. Moving right along. Next. Name? Maggie, and I collect postcards from all over the world. I get them mostly from my uncle. His job takes them all over the world, and he sends them to me. We are the Moo Sisters. My sisters and I collect cowbells. Thank you. Oh. Nicely done. Next. I'm ready. Uh, could somebody uh, help me up on the table, please? Thank you, Hamilton. I collect these beautiful buttons. State your name, please. Hamilton, sometimes you are impossible. R-U-D-Y. Thank you. These are the buttons that held up the pants of my famous great-great-grandfather. He was in the movies. Oh. oh. I'm really impressed, Rudy. Thank you. Can somebody please help me down? Okay, it's my turn. Name? The ferocious beast. Here is my pumpkin collection. They are uh, all the same. None of them are any different. What a shame. Yeah, aren't they nice? But you're supposed to collect different ones. You are? Yes. But that's okay. It's obvious that you care about them, and that's what's important. Well, it's true. He does care about them. Oh, he it's loves true. his pumpkin. You may now view the collectibles. When you have made your decision, place your vote in the ballot box. Then help yourselves to some refreshments. After that, we'll count the votes, and I will announce the winner. Hamilton, I know that my hats are really the best. But where is your entry for the contest? You're right! Here it is! Name? Hamilton Hawks. And this is my ball of string. Oh, Look at all the colors! Yeah, a beautiful ball! Now, Please take your time viewing the collectibles. Then have some refreshments. These cupcakes are great. You must give me the recipe. Let's set a date. I wonder who's going to win the contest. Yes, it should be very interesting. I know who I'm going to vote for. Me too. Attention, everyone. We will now count the votes. I will now open the voting box. Maggie will reach in, hand me each vote, which I will announce, and record on my clipboard. All right, Maggie, shall we count the votes? Certainly. One vote for the Moo Sisters. One vote for Nedley. <laughs> One vote for Rudy. <laughs> One vote for Hamilton. One vote for the Beast. Hooray for me! That's it. Well, who's the winner? <laughs> it's a tie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. What's the joke? Why are we laughing? Who gets the winning vote? Don't you see, Nedley? Everybody got one vote. It looks to me like you all voted for yourselves. Come on, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! 
Okay, you're all winners, and I will bake a cake for each of you. Hold on. There's only five votes. There should be six. Something is wrong. This vote is fixed. No, it isn't. I didn't vote. Why? Because I couldn't make up my mind who should win. I think you're all winners. The missing base. Perfect. I wonder why the kindly giant left his violin here. <sighs> if this were mine, I'd be so careful with it. <sighs> Oh, dear. I hope it'll be all right until I get back. Huh. Hi, Hamilton. Where were you? Picking apples. Where were you? Looking for you. You were late. Because I found the kindly giant's violin in the apple grove. I think we'd better go back and have a look at this violin. Come on, let's get moving. Hamilton, are we getting close? Oh, I know it's here somewhere. Wait, that bush looks familiar. Oh, oh great, it's here. <sighs> Great googly moogly. Now that is a big violin. Let me help you, Hamilton. No, thank you. I found it and I want to return it to the kindly giant, but it would be so easy for me to carry. You might break it. No, it's my responsibility. <laughs> <sighs> He should be able to hear me if I call him. I am the ferocious beast. Dear Hamilton, are you all right? Maggie, do you think this violin belongs to the kindly giant? I guess so. Who else could it belong to? If it didn't belong to him and we couldn't find the owner, I suppose I could keep it. Beast, I thought you were going to call the kindly giant. Oh, I forgot. Here I go. Mr. Giant, it's me, the ferocious beast. Where are you? Well, well, well. <laughs> Hello, ferocious beast. Hello, kindly giant. We have something for you. Sir? Uh, kindly giant? It's me, Hamilton Hawks. Sir, I found your violin, and I brought it back to you. Hmm. I'm sorry, little one. This is not my violin. It isn't anybody's violin. Excuse me, sir. I don't understand. This isn't a violin at all. It's a bass fiddle. But if it isn't yours... Sir, I'll just take it home and wait to see if we can find who it belongs to. That's a good idea. <laughs> Hamilton's hoping he won't find the owner. He wants to keep it. No, I don't. But it is so beautiful. It just makes me happy when I look at it. Yes. To quote a great poet, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. Now get home safely, little friends. Come and see me again. <laughs> Goodbye! Beast, I'm going to need a ride back. I'm exhausted from carrying this fiddle. But please be careful. All right, all right. Hamilton? You'll wear it out. I hope not. How does it look? Hamilton, it looks wonderful. Look! Someone's coming! It's nobody I've ever seen before. Hey, how you doing? I see you found my strings. 
your strings? Yeah, man, my strings, my bass. Oh, this is yours? We were wondering who it belonged to. It's mine. Oh, yeah. Well, hold on. How can we be sure? Hmm. Well, I can tell you where I left it. I was trying to get a look at the giant, so I left it in the apple grove. When I got back, it was gone. See, Hamilton, it is his. Oh, I guess so. Would you play for us? I'd be glad to, but it would sound better if I had some backup. Can anybody tickle the ivories? I beg your pardon? Anybody play keyboard? You mean piano? Hamilton plays? Get your piano, Hamilton. Oh. <sighs> Hamilton loves that bass fiddle. He thinks it's beautiful. We thought it was the kindly giant's violin because it was so big. Here we go, Hamilton. It is Hamilton, isn't it? Are you ready? You start. I'll pick it up. Now there's a town called Mud Creek across the ten cent bridge at the bottom of a mountain known as Rock Slide Ridge. The folks are getting worried cause Bibi's back in town and when he plays his music all the rocks come rolling down. Oh, he can rock those blues. Lordy, he can rock those blues. Yeah. Bibi's back in Mud Creek did you read the Mud Creek news? He was gone and now he's back again Singing the blues Oh, he can sing those blues Lordy, he can sing those blues Now meet my man on keyboard He's Hamilton Hawks He tickles those ivories And the whole place rocks Oh, yeah, yeah Rock on! <laughs> yeah. Oh, go, cat. We're rocking those blues. Oh, yeah, we're rocking those blues. 